This is a Witch Space News Supplemental. I'm Commander Burr. Frontier released patch notes yesterday for the forthcoming fleet carrier beta. Aside from the addition of fleet carriers themselves they had promised a new wave of patches and fixes to the existing game and we're going to run through a few of those fixes now. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. So here's what we know from the patch notes. Players will now receive arcs for killing scavengers ...those scrabbly floating things on Thargoid surface structures. You can now kill them and generate arcs. I'm sure they'll be overjoyed to hear that. There are a raft of crash fixes in the patch. Some personal highlights focus on the multi crew system that we use extensively here in the pit not only for filming purposes but also during our more combat zone and hazres focused community events. Also the presence of a multi crew player should no longer prevent conflict zone spawning ships. There was an issue that can cause the game to stutter in areas of the galaxy where the distribution of stars is at its most dense that has also apparently been squashed and the network performance of NPC fighters and ships has been improved to help reduce lag and loading back into an AX conflict zone that is positioned near an asteroid belt should no longer cause you to disconnect. Also system authority ships should no longer appear in supercruise in an anarchy system. Conflict zone issues have been given a look over as well and a bug that caused them to end abruptly has now gone as has a bug that caused your choice of which side to join to be ignored. Also the missing objectives combat zone bug should now be toast. NPC crew should no longer stop responding to commands in AX conflict zones leading to a huge reduction in the number of court marshals I'm sure and a bug that stopped NPC fighters being deployed altogether is also gone leading to a huge reduction in the number of NPC executions for dereliction of duty. For explorers locations uncovered via the detailed surface scanner should now be listed in the system map correctly when returning to a system. Discoveries in the codex should all now show the correct image and a problem that caused surface data in the FSS scanner to build at such a low priority that it in fact didn't build at all has now apparently gone. A horrendous sounding bug that would sell ships accidentally in the shipyard when players were accessing the codex has thankfully been squashed and a bug that caused players to drop from supercruise too close to a starport has been removed. I think that has caused at least one fatality in our community alone that I'm aware of. Miners and limpets rejoice a fix has been implemented so that core mining fragments will no longer penetrate into asteroids and the depot system has been added to solo mining missions meaning you can take on those missions and do multiple runs if you so desire rather than attempt it all in one run. The chance of meeting players who have been previously encountered in a single session has been increased and commanders can now block any player in the game if they so desire not just those on their friends list. On the graphics rendering front a visible line in the galaxy backdrop has been removed and starport interiors will no longer pick up light from their parent star. Thargoids will now utilise their special weapons such as lightning attacks, caustic missiles and EMP pulses when near a planet's surface. That's bound to focus the attention in those encounters somewhat at the very least as you literally can't afford to miss a shutdown field if you're in a gravity well. And finally if you do participate in a Thargoid kill then you will now be credited for it correctly. So there we have it. That's not an extensive list of all the bugs and fixes. I've linked to that below. So if there's something you were hoping to see fixed uh, it could still be there. Go take a look and see if it's listed. If you're new to elite beta tests then rest assured that anything you do in beta will stay in beta so be as silly as you like, test out ship builds you've always wanted to mess about with, try and break carriers, have fun with it and report your findings on the forums. The first beta is due to drop on April the 7th and we'll be streaming for as long as we're able on that day over on Twitch so do swing by and say hi if you're about. 
Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.